Hi guys, so I am Watermelon's family practice, so you guys can see me. Hi guys, anyway, I'm Watermelon's, and I showed you this before um, we started, so today I'm going to give a DIY, because if you see me at my desk like this, that means I'm doing a DIY. A DIY. So, um, if you're wondering if you never watched a DIY, because before uh, my sister told me I really didn't know what a DIY was, till like maybe a couple weeks back so like i was always like what the heck is a diy so i finally found out it means do it yourself i'm sure that if you're watching this you probably know what a diy is i don't know why i was so stupid so today i'm going to teach you how to make one of these cute little holders and it mine's holding my scissors one of my pencils and like shred wallpaper so this craft is random items that actually are household. Sorry, something fell. <laughs> so it's basic household items for this craft. So welcome Haley's guests to a, a random thing. So um, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these cute little holders. And they look like this. And I think they're cute because they're kind of like, you know, like those dressing things. Like a like the, where you're hiding behind, you know, like, the, where it's so they don't see you. That's what it reminds me of. And there's a little piece of carpet under it. And it can hold, but basically, I know this is crazy. It can hold basically anything but pencils because the pencils fall through it. So that's something cool. It can hold your scissors. So for this, um... For this um, craft, you're going to need um, construction paper, and I'm using some that's only like maybe I think this is like nine nine by. This looks about seven by four inches. I think, but you know, it doesn't have to be, it can be as big as you want, depending on what you want to put in there. You're going to need that. I'm using safety scissors because I've cut myself and experienced something pretty bloody. So I like to use the Crayola safety scissors that don't work on fabric. So, and we're, I'm going to use my crazy art markers to make one of these little dressing room things. Okay, so you're going to start with a piece of paper, and I'm using mine about yay big you can use it however size you want it and mine is a really easy pad so I can just rip this out so after that you're going to find your folding points and it's going to be kind of like folding in And then you're going to take where your fold works are and you're going to cut little triangles out of them. The triangles don't mean anything. So after you're done cutting out the triangles, you can just cut the triangle shapes and throw them away. So um, if I did this right, it's going to look like this. And most of the time, it doesn't stand up that well. So you want to make sure that everything is totally even. So yeah, mine is, it's standing up pretty well. So after that, you're going to find a different color, and I'm just going to pick the next color, so I'm just going to pick this, um, and you're going to size it out by putting your thing on here, and you can trace it if you want. Usually, I just pick the best size I can. I usually do it this way. I think it's easiest, and you're just going to map out how big you want your thing to be, and then you're going to color cut that out. So then it will stand up well. So you're going to take the outside, and this part's totally optional. So if you're more of like one of those bland persons who have like a base color room, a solid, I am totally out of that part. I am totally peace sign, cheetah print, flowers, whatever I can find that's pink, I'll take it. So um, if you want to, you can follow this part. This part's just optional, but I think it's better if you have flowers. So I'm going to take... 
uh, four crazy art pins. You can take as many colors as you want. I'm going to take purple, orange, yellow, and black. And I'm going to write my name on this. So I'm going to write... I'm going to give this to one of my friends. So I'm going to write my friend's name on here. By the way, this isn't one of my real friends. I'm just using it. Well, actually, it is one of my real friends. I was just telling you that. So this part's pretty funny. Fun. You just do a bunch of swirls that connect. Like that. Do as many as you want, and then I'm going to take a solid color, and I'm going to start putting hearts all over it and flowers. I know I did mine pretty trashy, and then I'm going to take my last color, and I'm going to outline all of the where everything everything that I want. I usually outline the arounds, around the cut marks, and around the lines that I folded, and around the top and stuff. Oh, oh! So basically, I didn't finish. So it's gonna look like that, except that all of the lines are gonna be finished. So you can put anything inside of it. Um, I would recommend you put it against a wall because then the things can lean against the wall because the colored pencils will fall out. So that's a basic craft. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and um, thumbs up this uh, video. Also, remember to share this video, like me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Also, remember to put comment in, in the comments, put suggestions for anything. Should I do more haul? Should I do more DIYs? Should I do more LPS? No. Should I do more vlogs or should I do um, more tags? Please tell me in the comments below. Give me suggestions for any DIYs I can do or any hauls I can do. And I will basically live up to those. I do not do dares. I am girly girl and I do not do dares. I basically do anything but dares. So thanks guys for watching. And I love you guys so much. Peace, love, watermelons. Bye.